Hi, this is David with XBRL US, and I'm going to step you through the process of rendering an inline HTML filing with the SEC's inline viewer. To do that, we're going to use a tool called Arel to create a JSON file that works with the JavaScript that is the SEC's inline viewer. So let's get started. First, you want to download Arel from this website and get it installed in your system. Once it's installed in your system, you want to go to the help menu and manage the plugins. On this screen, you can select from a number of plugins that come bundled with the base Arel installation. The one you want for this exercise is the Edgar renderer. So just tap on it and then hit OK. Mine is already installed, so I'm going to cancel out of here. Once it's installed, you want to close. Again, I'm going to cancel out. When you click close, you may get a prompt that says Arel needs to restart. Let it restart. When it does restart, you'll have an option for the Edgar renderer under the view menu. Make sure that Edgar renderer is set so that you can show filing data. What that'll do is preview your inline HTML document in the SEC's Edgar inline viewer right inside of your own browser. So let's go ahead and open up an inline HTML file. This one's pretty small, so it's only going to take a couple of seconds. And when it finishes, it goes straight away to the browser. And it's in the SEC's inline viewer on your desktop. Fully functional. You can then go back to Arel and check through any of the messaging that you have. Here it's uh, messages related to the EFM, the Edgar Filing Manual. But you can also see that all of the detail from the XBRL side of that inline HTML document have come right through. Last but not least, take a quick look at the output that was produced. We started in this folder with the HTML file. This was the one that we opened. Inside of this folder is now an out folder. And this is where that Metalinks file is found. We'll open this one up and just take a quick look. And you can see that it has all of the details from inside of the inline HTML filing pulled into this JSON file that's read by the SEC's inline viewer. I hope that was helpful.